of a drought. That's good for that part of the state, but other parts of Alabama dealing with a drought. Here's the latest numbers over six inches deficit in Tuscaloosa. Look at Aniston 10 inches behind. So we certainly got a drought across Alabama. We're talking about moderate to severe drought, especially for East Alabama in portions of West Alabama. So that's the latest with that. Unfortunately, no rain on radar. Check it out this afternoon across the state. We don't have anything out there. A few uh, spotty showers tried to form earlier today over northern Bibb County, East Tuscaloosa County. That was it. Everybody else dry. That's a ground clutter, by the way, around the radar site, so no rain there. 7 o'clock, 85 dry conditions. Mild, though, this evening, 73 at 10. And by 1 o'clock, around 71. But notice here again, We'll expect those dry conditions overnight, so no issues of rain if you're going to be outdoors. Live look from Tuscaloosa from Broad Diddy Stadium. Beautiful looking sunset there. Still pretty hot though, 92 in T Town, so it's a hot afternoon for the first day of fall. Hey, it doesn't feel like it. Wind is calm, so no breeze to help us out today like we had over the past couple of days. Check it out with the temperatures this afternoon 97 back in Columbus, uh, Tuscaloosa 92, Birmingham 93. And we are below the records, by the way, record high for Tuscaloosa, 99, record high for Birmingham, 100, record high for Anniston at 98. So again, we were below that, but for this time of year, temperatures are well above average. And even right now, we still got low 90s across the board. Forecast model dry conditions for tonight. Notice our forecast here. We're expecting temperatures back in those upper 60s to near 70. So for the first night of fall, it's not going to feel too much like fall, a little bit warmer than recent nights and plenty of sunshine on Friday. It is going to be a hot day, a very light north breeze around three to six miles per hour north to northwest direction. You'll notice that some tomorrow. Saturday morning, a mild, a rather muggy start to the day by then. Notice here again. We've got temperatures rather than the 60s, a widespread low 70s early Saturday morning. Out in the tropics, got two tropical storms. We're watching Tropical Storm Carl and Tropical Storm Lisa. Lisa, the stronger of the two storms, winds to 50 miles per hour. Tropical Storm Carl getting better organized. When you're starting to relax over that storm, it will impact Bermuda on Friday into Saturday, but this storm recurred before reaching the U.S. That storm will not impact land. It's going to stay out of the middle Atlantic Ocean and weaken over the next several days. Football forecast. It is going to be a scorcher in Broad Diddy Stadium Saturday, 11 o'clock kickoff, close to 90. Look at the end of the game, 95 heat index near 100 in Broad Diddy. Auburn taking on LSU down at Jordan Hare Stadium on Saturday. Notice at 5 o'clock there. We got upper 80s, so it's going to be a warm start to the game, but wrapping things up down in Jordan here, a little bit cooler, upper 70s there. Low 60s, our upper 60s tonight for overnight low. Tomorrow we'll top out in the mid 90s, very hot day. We'll stay hot for the weekend, but next week we got some changes coming up. Slightly cooler, also a few scattered showers and storms.